Hey guys, and welcome back to The Mercenaries. It's been a hot minute since we've actually recorded this, and, well, it's been about three weeks, actually, because uh, I ran out of videos for this a while ago, and uh, with all my sickness and whatnot, I haven't been able to catch up. But let's get back into this game, and I can't actually even remember where we were. Which is a little bit shitty. Now, um, oh god, I can't remember the controls. Jeez. Uh, deck of 52. So, where were we? This is going to be painful for a minute, guys, whilst I remember everything. Okay, we actually did start taking the cards apart. That's quite interesting. Um, so, we finished one... So we've got the allies we can do, which I don't really want to do right now. We've got the Koreans down the bottom there, or we've got the Russians. Let's let's go see the Koreans, shall we? Right, let's get a vehicle of some description. Get here. Now, I believe we had some fun in some of the cool, more interesting uh, vehicles. And there's that Apache flying around, which we cannot get our hands on, sadly. Um, in time... In time, I'm sure we shall have a play with an Apache, but not today. Well, who knows? Maybe today, I guess. We'll There's a number card nearby. Uh, Check your radar. Nah, we'll get all those. Yeah, I mean, he's right. Nah, we. Mm, nah, we'll come back. We'll do all of the number cards in one foul sweep. Swoop, kind of like uh, we've been doing. There's a number card nearby. <laughs> Look at them. Check your radar Look at them location. stacking like tools. Yes, do tools stack? Probably. Stacking like dominoes. There we go. That makes more sense, I think. Yes, yes. You can't really stack your hammers, can you? Well, you probably could. You'd probably stack your nails. Ready to be hammered. Yes, yes. Anyway, uh, enough about that. Let's get going. Uh, it's been ages since I've actually turned my Xbox on, to be honest. Just had a huge update for it, because of course I have. It's a modern console. It needs to phone home to Daddy Microsoft to make sure everything's okay. Whoa! And look at that. Look at that. You saw that, guys. You saw that. I was speaking ill of Daddy Microsoft, and my car suddenly did a barrel roll. I think I think Daddy Microsoft is, is listening in. <laughs> well, of course they're listening in. So is Google and Facebook and all of the corporations. Um, hmm. Yes. Shame they never offered to send me loads of money. But they all uh, want to sell me shit. Bastards. Right, where exactly are we on the map? We're in the industrial zone, apparently. Now, I can't remember, because it's been so long, what area we've looted. I think... I think we looted things around here. Oh, I guess we didn't, because look. Come on, Jen. Let's go. I know, Jen. You're aching and you're stiff. It's been a while. We will have you combat ready soon. Maybe. And we've got the advanced rifle. Yes. Yes. Which I think is at least a little bit better than the others. Kind of been a, a little while since I've played. All the um, weapons in this game do feel very samey. To be fair. To be 100% honest with you. I'm very much looking forward to playing the second one because the jump from the original Xbox to the 360 was a fairly sizable one, you know? It's going to be interesting to see how much they improved it. I know Mercs 2 is one of those games that kind of pushed the systems quite a little bit. I would have loved to have seen a Mercenaries 2 on PlayStation 4 and Xbox, but hey. I guess we will have to sit here and dream and imagine what that would have been like. Probably would have been just causey, to be honest. But Mercenaries had its own little charm. This game started off, uh, you know, pretty well for a new, uh, a new series, but they really did um, dial it up a notch on the 360. Could have been a really cool franchise, and I like Just Cause. But it it never really grabbed me, you know. 
I never found it that interesting. Well, I think we found the one thing that was here. Still, better to find one than none. There is always that. Now, finding all the collectibles in this game is going to be a complete pig, I think. And as I, as I said in my last video, I did find a, a, a guide, or two guides, that do go through all the collectibles one by one. And the problem with those is they're all text. Because, <laughs> yeah, going back to, like, I don't know, whenever this came out, 2001. No, this was quite a late release on the original Xbox, wasn't it? So it would have been, like, 2004, 2005, I guess. Yeah, um, things... Things were kind of, should we say, media rich back then. Ah, I thought that was a listening post then, but it was just the fire burning. Alright, let's have a little look around here. There will probably be pickups. And we like our pickups, because they give us stuff. Admittedly, not really very cool stuff. Not like it was. We get a bit of money. Oh, look, there's a statue. We get a bit of money, a bit of respect from the faction. But most of the time, we just get like a, a new skin, which is kind of useless. I missed it when it was giving us, you know, good stuff, like new item drops. Now that's interesting. It's giving us bullets. Ah, oh, we do have C4. We've got two chunklets of C4, which is good. Now. Um, today is June the 5th. I don't know when this video... Oh, God. I don't know when this video is going up. But today is June the 5th. Today is a very special day. Because... How do we select that? Oh, I can't remember how we put down... C4. Uh, game? What am I missing here? That's throw grenade. Right, okay, it's the trigger. Yeah, this game has very strange controls. And when you've been away from it for ages, you kind of remember just how strange the controls are. They really are a little bit odd. Uh, again, I think that was corrected in the second game a little bit. Yeah, so June the 5th, uh, Command & Conquer HD Remaster has dropped. Although it hasn't. It's meant to be out today. Uh, but it un locks 6 o'clock tonight UK time which is a big old pile of shit so I came home from work yes, got really hyped and I was like yes today's the day of Command and Conquer bought it thought ah fuck I'll do some mercenaries now and I'll use the rest of my, my last day off uh, to record a load of Command and Conquer no no even though it says June the 5th and I've bought and paid for it we have to wait until tonight to get it that's really sh yes, I know first world problems, but that is really shitty. <sighs> Never mind. At least we got the bloody game, I suppose. Small mercies and all that, right? So we've had a few pickups, which is nice. I mean, nothing. Ooh, nothing too extreme. As you can see, these. Uh, Ruskies have had quite the upgrade themselves. They've got some nice, uh, nice proper 4x4 Hummers. Not just the junk that they had before. Okay, the technicals, I guess you'd call them. Right, let's go see what these guys want. Looking for some extra cash, eh? Yes, always looking for some extra cash. И смотри, как много денег я им зарабатываю. Мы много денег зарабатываем. Правда? Правда? All right, my best friend, the mercenary. I take care of you, right? I take good care of you. And you help me out. Well, looks like this asshole's still going. Sergey. Why else would they be camping out on my doorstep? I need you to get rid of them. And the village that they're hiding in. Uh, I don't really want to blow up civilians. That's not quite what we're doing. Soldiers. Those guys, they haven't yes. yet. The South Koreans, the Chinese. They need to realize it's in their best interest to keep my happiness. Hmm. Let's go see what Yosef thinks about all that. Very 
wigged out to you? You mean a little more wigged out? Yeah, big time. <clears throat> hmm. Well, let's go see what's actually going on here. So, the South Koreans are trying to establish establish a presence north of Yongbyon. Presumably to watch the Chinese advance, Sergei is of course convinced that they're after his operations. He wants you to wipe out the South Korean hideouts. They haven't been in the area long, so resistance should be fairly light. Okay. Well, uh... <sighs> hmm. I guess... If that's what our man wants, then that is what we shall do. Thing is... Uh, I can't remember where we could get the Comanches from. Hmm. Well, no matter. Let's go on a little drive, shall we? It's disguised as a civilian. Excellent. Let's go for a little drive up here. Fuck off. See if we can find ourselves some decent vehicles along the way. I kind of doubt it. And I think we're going to get in a bit of trouble, but... Well... I guess there's nothing we can do, sadly. I think in the second one, you can be a little bit more tact. In regards to um, keeping all the factions happy. However, I could be totally misremembering uh, that. We received an update to the contract. An allied tank lost its way near the temple. Right, does that mean we have a new vehicle that is going to be ours? Steal allied tank and return it to the Mafia garage. Uh, oh shit. Yeah, okay. I mean, that kind of seems a little bit silly. I wonder if we can keep the allied tank to do the mission in, then return it. Because that's a cool extra 20k, which ain't, uh, ain't to be sniffed at. Now, we haven't seen the new Allied tanks yet, I don't think, but they are M1A2s, I think. Maybe yep. Abram, the was so in. Uh, hey, fellas. Let's, um... It is, yes. Yes. Let me just oh, no, borrow this. Oh, great. Okay, well, in that case, I guess we have to get this back now. Guys, please move your ass out of the way. That's frustrating. And now we're ice skating along the floor. This game really did have a lot of bugs. You know, I wonder if we can get in quickly. Fire off. Get this mission complete and then get back. All within a good amount of time. Just one way to find out. Now the M1 is really quite nippy. It's a fast vehicle, which I like. Okay, this is going to be a little bit on the savage side. So I get the feeling we're blasting civilians. And I'm not hugely a fan of that. But, hey. All's fair in love and war, I suppose. Your SNS signal's being jammed. Yeah, I can see it's being jammed. But hopefully... Let's just try and destroy all of these guys. I don't want to get in too much trouble here. Uh, which I think is going to be kind of hard to avoid, to be honest with you. I don't want to completely ruin our relationship. Yeah, although that does look like it's going to be harder than I initially thought. Oh god, we yeah, okay. Let's get this tank back. Let's get this tank back. It's going to get destroyed otherwise. I don't want to lose this thing. It is a meaty bastard. It really is. Yeah. Disguised as the allies. There we go. Yeah. I mean, 20 grand isn't a huge amount to us, but... Eh, yeah, you, I mean, come on, man. 20 grand's 20 grand. You know? Really? Really? You wanted a word? Well, you got 120 millimeters. Right through your skull, sir. 
Was it worth it? Ah, uh, such bullshit that we have to give this to these idiots. Ugh. This thing could have been the crown jewel of our operation, but nope. We have to surrender it to the damn Russians. Uh, what are they even going to do with this thing? I wonder if Sergei's going to keep it for himself or if he's going to sell it. I mean, Sergei doesn't really seem to know what planet he's on at the best of times. And out of the way, Sivvy, otherwise you're going to be flat. You're going to look like a. Well, I mean, there we go. You're going to look like him. You're going to look like a squeezed tooth toothpaste tube. Pretty hardcore. Right, you bleeding heart bastards. You better give me something good for this. And money's cool, but I'd rather some kind of attack helicopter. Uh, oh. We actually got 37k for that. Which is interesting. So I guess not only do we get our standard money... Our 20k bonus. But we also got like 33k as well. Which we, I'm guessing the less damage it has, the more money we get for it. Which is kind of cool. Although I think they should just give us the full price for it anyway. Because, you know, they shouldn't be such stingy bastards. But what do I know? I'm just a, a mercenary in this crazy world. And these civilians just driving these copy and pasted cars really do like to get in the way. And then they wonder why they get killed. Crazy, right? Out of the way, you numb nuts. Ah, that's something I haven't said for a while. Numb nuts. Look at them. They're literally all like driving the same car. Every single one of them. It is very odd, and it does stick out. Right, let's grab... Well, I guess we don't need the med kit. Uh, can, how do I put that down? Can we put it down with this? I'm going to guess no. Oh, no. Okay. And somehow they... Ooh. Somehow they knew that was us as well, which is a little bit bullshit, if you ask me. Never mind. We shall endeavour uh, to be as stealthy as possible, but I think that's going to be problematic through here. Your SNS signals yeah, 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 yeah. Oh god, we've got, yeah, we have TOWs on our ass as well. Oh god, actually, that might just be what we wanted. This should be able to take out the uh, buildings fairly snappy, I suppose. Ooh. Guys, look. Here's the deal, yeah? I won't kill you if you don't kill me. Now, if you ask me, that's probably the best deal you're going to get. Okay. I think that's fairly fair. Alright, not bad. Alright, keep the fuck out of the way. And you won't get killed. Is that fair? Am I being fair to these guys? I think I'm being fair to these guys. Oof, that's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted. Right, let's get back in here before he gets some clever ideas. Oh, God, he had a clever idea. Damn it. Oh, shit. Okay. Don't like their clever ideas anymore. They're being way too clever. Let's see if we can get up here. I mean, there's bound to be more pickups around here. Without a doubt. Ah, like that one right in front of us. Uh, right. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blow it out your ass, mate. Right. Nice, got some med kits. I'll have them. Uh, oh, these guys look a little bit saucy, don't they? These are not your garden variety grunts. These are definitely something a little bit more. Uh, no, please don't, dude. Jesus, that guy, that guy had it in for us. Okay, let's 
waste this. There we go. Now we can get the frick out of here. Hopefully. <sighs> 80,000. Yeah, kind of. Oh, special weapons drop. Mafia SUV. Yeah, I mean, kind of smoothly done, I suppose. But definitely could have been better. Not a super fan of how that went. Now, also, the other problem we're going to have is uh, these guys now don't like us as much as they did, which is hardly surprising. You know, we've come into their village. Ah, my God. Can people stop firing horrible missiles at me, please? Right, let's save the game quickly so we don't lose all of our progress. Uh... Now this is going to be awkward, isn't it? Because that guy there is probably going to see us. Well, I mean, he should have seen us. But he's asleep at the wheel, which is good. His loss is our gain. Let's get this thing out of here. Let's go back and see those sneaky Russians. Oh god, this thing controls like a bag of penises. I don't really know how a bag of penises would control, but if I could imagine it, it would be something like this. Yeah, there we go. Re-entered neutral territory. There's probably a few more pickups back there, but man, that's going to be uh, pretty difficult to get in there. Especially at this point in the game where you're trying to keep everybody as happy as you possibly can. Um... Yes, this whole triangle war going on between... Well, technically it's a quad war between all of the factions. But, I mean, the US, or the, the, the UN, I should say, is trying to keep neutral the best they can. Although, you know, not really. Every faction wants this place for themselves. But obviously that ain't going to happen. You, the AN, I should say, thinks they've got the biggest bollocks. But the Russians are resourceful and cunning. Uh, the Chinese has a huge and large army. And of course we have the North Koreans who are, are backed by the CIA. And they have pretty juicy resources. So, it's kind of a strange freefall going on here. That's only worth 12,000? Ah, should have kept it. Yeah, we're in a bad way. Also, what was that supply drop that we just unlocked? It was like special. Special weapons. Sergei's special selection. Should we have a look? See what's in there? Well, my interest has been piqued. Let's have a little look. Okay, I'm on my okay, way. way. Oh, I just noticed. Look at Jen's hair. She's got, um, like, red braids or red beads in her hair. That's actually really cool. Alright, let's have a little look at Sergei's special selection. Uh, I was going to say, hopefully it's not just, like, a load of blow. Light MG and the anti-armor rifle. Ah. Uh, Anti-armor rifle? I mean, maybe. Might be a bit of fun, I suppose. Right. Looking for some extra cash, eh? Yes. Always looking for extra cash. All right. My best friend, the mercenary. Uh -huh. I take care of you, right? Uh -huh. I take good care of you. And you help me out. Speaking of which, I've got a man in Shinuiju. He takes care of things for me. I bring him diamonds, forged passports, all sorts of things that are small and easy to transport. He takes them, brings me money. We all love money. Uh -huh. right? I've got some items for him. You get them, bring them to him. I give you a cut. And uh, make it quick. He's been waiting for a while already. Hmm. Okay. I think we can do that. A bit of a smuggle job. My man, he might get nervous and bold if you keep... Relax. I don't think we'll have to put up with him for much longer. Oh, just what exactly do you mean by that, Yosef? You little snake in the grass. No, not what I'd expect from him. No organization. 
Aquaman is one step away from total chaos. You know what I think? What? Sergei's operating out of his league, and he's getting more paranoid as he expands his business. Hmm. That does seem possible. Now, they've given us this baller ass car. And as you can see, the uh, contract value is constantly plummeting. Kind of not a fan of this, to be honest. Because if, if if it ticks down to nothing, then uh, I think we do fail. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, yeah, let's go this way. Look at this. I mean, uh, even with this car, you just lose so much freaking money. Right, come on, buddy. Right, American Passport. And there, we've got another one straight away. But it's ticking down straight away as well. Come on, gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Oh, you are kidding me. We are literally locked in here. Oh, that's some fucking stank right there. That's some serious horseshit. And as you can see, this car really doesn't move very well. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's fast. And it's okay on the roads. I wouldn't say it's great, it's okay on the roads, but as soon as you go off the road, oh boy. Right, get out of the way, you dickhead. I'm trying to collect some drugs here. Jesus. Um, I like the way they're just like throwing stuff in the way to fuck you over. It's actually quite a cool little mission, I suppose. It's a fun little idea. You sure are taking a while. Me? Yeah, well, I got stuck. Right, received blackmail photos. Okay, well, that's cool. I mean, to be fair, Fiona, if you think you can do a better job, you can get out here instead of sat on your fat fucking ass. Oh my god. And actually do this, you know, for us. And maybe, maybe we can sit on the other end of the phone and uh, get a fat paycheck for doing fuck all. How about that? Guys, seriously, you're just bloody tire fodder. That's all you guys are. Ugh, maybe someone at Pandemic really like Crazy Taxi. Yeah, that's fair enough. I think you're really cutting things close. everybody like. You want to come down here and give it a try? Yes, thank you, Jen. Pouch of diamonds, not bad. And now I guess we've got to go all the freaking way back. Yeah, I guess someone really like Crazy Taxi. Either that or they were trying really hard to be Grand Theft Auto, one of the two. Kind of didn't need to try hard to be Grand Theft Auto because, in my opinion, this game stands quite nicely on its own. It's not perfect. It's very much a first in the series, but it's good. Right, almost back. We are literally losing thousands of pounds by the second. <sighs> that RPG just literally sailed past our heads. Jesus. Right, guys, can we not fuck around here? Right, stolen radio codes. Okay, not bad. Now where are we going? Ooh. Car is taking a good amount of damage here, which we kind of don't want to uh, have anything happen to this. Because if we have to get a slower vehicle, we're fucked. Although technically, I oh Jesus, as you can see, this yeah, this car is it's pure AIDS. It really is. I mean, we're redlining just to go four miles an hour here. Okay, okay, this is fine. This is fine. We basically have to stop to go around a corner. Which again, makes sense. I mean, he... I mean, honestly, what was that guy doing? He literally... Literally ran out in front of us there. That was his own fault. I guess he just wanted to die. Okay, that's everything. Drop it off. We've got a fat paycheck on the yes. way. Yes. Yes, apparently so. I don't know if I would... Describe this as a fat paycheck considering how much money we've technically lost, but sure. Right, back on the road. Hurry up! Yeah, shut up, Fiona. Get off my nuts. Honestly, if you really think you can do this better than me, you're welcome. You're welcome to try. 
probably too busy stuck in the office stuffing donuts down your fat face whilst here I am running about freezing my ass off getting shot at get whinged at oh god where the hell's that guy oh god we've made a wrong turn yeah really guys really you're just gonna sandwich me in here I guess you are fucked a lot of you okay now where is our contact where are you oh you'd have to be as far away as possible Oh, Fiona. Oh, Jesus. Jen. Sergei's toys have been delivered. Mafia payment is en route to our account. Yeah, that wasn't great. We literally almost jumped into the water there, which wasn't fantastic. 170,000? I mean, it's a lot of money, but. Ooh, ooh. M1027. M1027. Let's have a look at that puppy. M10. What is that? M10. Ooh. I mean... It's okay. Highly mobile anti-air vehicle based on the M1025 chassis. Great for guarding convoys and out-of-the-way deals. General cop hunting. Yeah, I mean, it's not that useful that I can ever really think of a time where we'd need that, but I guess. Civilian high street racer delivery. I uh, don't think we will ever need that because it's just straight up not that useful. Who says you can't have fun in a war zone? Enemy combatants will be a blur in the rear view mirror when you cruise by in this custom tuned racer. Yeah, it's, sorry to break it to you, game, but it's not that fast. Um, customized in our own factory, these SUVs feature reinforced armor plates and a roof-mounted 7.62 machine gun and lots of attitude. Supplies are limited. Yeah, this is more of a reasonable vehicle. Or maybe even just the Chinese Type 95 anti-air. That thing's gnarly. Designed in the Soviet Union, built in China. The Type 95 puts the defense in air defense. Rapid fire 30mm cannons will make short work of both copters and pesky infantry. I, she will indeed. She's savage and I love it. So we've got most of the gear now. Most of the airstrikes as well. There's still a couple left to get. Our forecast, clear skies ahead. I love that. That's so cool. Right, anyway, guys, we are out of time. So it feels great to be back playing this game, actually. Um, thanks for watching. And as always, till next time.